love bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for just walking towards your positive path. You know, seeing what you need to see. You know, embracing your gift, helping yourself and healing yourself and while you're helping others, which is a true blessing. And so congratulations on that. You are moving forward. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely, definitely coming your way. And if you have been um, watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact to give and how it is impacted your life towards a positive direction. Or if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes and just gave you something that you really feel like you want to share, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Thank you so much for showing love and support towards the channel. And thank you for stopping by. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And this beautiful meditation music, I love this video because I used it about two or three weeks ago. And it's um, called um, 432 Hertz, Heal Your Aura, Boost Your Positive Energy, Theta, theta binary, binary Beats, Positive Mindset. I was like, ugh. I will be posting that link in the description box below. In my video today, I'm doing this Twin Flame 101, when we run from the truth. Oh my gosh, when we run from the truth. It's just like when I talk to some people and... Um, and they ask me my opinion about certain things or why they go through stuff. And it's just, I love when y'all open up and you tell me, even though sometimes you, you hit me up on the side one-on-one. One on one, so you can, you know, just get my personal attention. And it is just like, it brings out so much things that we need to talk about and so many things that we need to deal with. It's because it's hard sometimes, you know, dealing with, um, you know, things that has put us in a certain state it can like I said before it can mess us up mentally emotionally sexually any kind of thing that it can set us back a minute and it's just like we really truly need to heal from these things and it's just like dang you know I've been running from the truth for so long and it was just like I used to have nightmares that I'm constantly getting chased and you know I would be at this concert and never understood why every time I get to this concert and there was always something running at me at the shadows trying to get my attention and tell me to wait, please wait. And I would see all these punk rockers around and just didn't understand because when I was little, I used to be scared of like people with mohawks and stuff like that because they were very different. So I thought they were going to harm me and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, when I would have these dreams, I didn't realize what they were until I started going to therapy and everything and then you know it was just like when, when your empath is hard if you're dealing with a regular therapist we have to have some special educated graduate to deal with because I was just like people would tell me why don't you go speak to a therapist heck no nah, I ain't about to go deal with no therapist they'll end up locking my butt up to, you know telling them stuff that I've been through or whatever they'll be thinking I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs so it's just not like we can just see any ordinary therapist about the things that we go through unless they're spiritually connected like that so they can understand so it is just a blessing to me when people can come to me and ask me because these are the things that I've went through you know and I, it made me remember um, a situation with one of my old bosses you know he was one of those types that you couldn't tell him nothing he always knew everything and you know he was talking about oh I'm a drug counselor and I probably mentioned this before in one of my videos from a while back and we were all having intellectual conversation and you know he always been that type that you know he wants you jealous of him he wants to brag about something like you know he gonna tell you something you didn't know and you know some people are just naysayers and just go ahead and let them talk i don't even entertain that with him i'm like oh gosh this is working on my nerves just because you're trying to act like you know it all and that just irks my nerves so uh the next thing you know, he was talking about, oh, I'm a drug counselor now. You know, I've been going to school for it for the last two and a half years. And I'm just like, okay. 
So I said, so what were you addicted to? Were you addicted to alcohol? Were you addicted to marijuana? Were you addicted to, you know, cold crack, you know, pills, you know, something, uppers, downers, what? And he was like, oh, I've never been through any of those things. I'm just like, so how are you going to teach somebody to be daggone sober when you have never been through this situation? Oh, well, I've had books to educate me on all these things. And I busted out laughing, even though I was like, oh, snap, did I do that out loud? You know, because I don't know about you being a hey or whatever but a lot of times i'll be thinking something outside in my head and end up spewing out my mouth and i was just like oh snap <laughs> you probably gonna get rolled up for this but you know you're gonna take it personal but he said what you mean by why are you laughing and i said because how are you gonna teach somebody to cope and deal with situations without having to be triggered to fall off the wagon i said because you wouldn't know if you tell me that you have never you know, experience any of these things and never been addicted to anything, how would you know what it felt like to really go through a whole bunch of stuff and you're so used to taking that special thing to get from an escape, to deal with your issues, to deal with your depression, to deal with this, deal with that. I'd rather deal with somebody that was a crackhead, a heroin addict that has been sober, sober for like 10 or 20 years than some book smart ass college person that is, you know, the books didn't talk to something. The books can't sit up here and tell you, okay, what it feels like when your brain is processing <laughs> this situation and you trying to say, oh, damn, I want a drink or, oh, dag, I want a cigarette or, oh, dag, I want a blunt. You know, you can't sit up here and tell me that he got upset about that. And I said, I can be a counselor and even don't have that much education on the situation, but it's just the fact that I live from it and I overcame it and this and this and that. Then I can be an advocate to do what you do. So, you know, he was trying to get all up in my business, trying to figure out. I said, don't worry about all that. But I'm just saying, you know, I'd rather take somebody who's been through it, done that, and know what it felt like to have to deal with problems and knowing how to not cope with it, but deal with it without having to break your sobriety. So it's just like when we're going to find our truths, we need to find it no matter how hard it is. You, you know, you, you're going to go through that struggle. You don't go through that short time. But it's just like, stop running from the truth. Because the more you run from it, the worse it's going to get. So, you know, face what has been hurting you for so long. Face what has been holding you back for so long. Because if until you do that, your blessings will not be fulfilled. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. I'm sending much utmost uplifting abundance coming your way. Uplifting vibes, healing vibes, and loving vibes if you truly need them. And know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you. Give me a thumbs up. Like and even share on your social media favorites. And know that you are blessed. And be safe and be responsible and stay prosperous. Peace.